next core topic of uh, friction is the basic concepts from the basic concepts angle of uh, friction and coefficient of friction the coefficient of friction is nothing but the mu is equal to f by r and uh, friction uh, angle of friction is uh, psi so in the continuation of this topic the, the another very important topic is cone of friction cone of friction what is this cone of friction so it is the cone obtained by rotating the resultant which resultant i have already told you in the cone friction and uh, reaction friction and reaction resultant in the angle of friction concept if the reaction is going up and the friction is going left so that resultant between these two will be lies in this quadrant only this is connected as s so what his intention is this is a two mark bit uh, we are not going to solve any problem on the basis of cone of friction it is just an important bit it may be a chance of asking uh, this bit for two marks okay so cone of friction it is the cone obtained by the rotating resultant s about the normal reaction this is the resultant of if you feel this is a friction and this is reaction resultant of this friction and reaction s will make a perfect cone if you rotate the applied force in 360 degrees for example here is the body i am applying a force in this direction so the friction will be act in this direction so the reaction and the the reaction and the friction there is a resultant between these two if i start applying force in this 360 degrees if i start applying the if i apply in this direction the friction will the the body's motion will be in this direction so the friction will be opposite in this direction if i start rotating the applied force if i start rotating applying force on the body then the reaction i mean the resultant of the reaction and friction will make a perfect cone will make a perfect cone that is called cone of friction that's it so another important topic in this uh, journey is angle of repose this is very tough this is very tough so for example here i'm telling you inclined force inclined sorry inclined surface very very important topic inclined surface till this day what we have done is if this is the force w weight reaction or friction towards this direction we consider this as x axis we consider this as y axis but uh, for a concept of inclined force inclined plane inclined plane inclined plane means this is the plane which will make an angle with the horizontal plane if the body placed in an inclined plane if a body you see this type of structure in uh, local parks um, our uh, children play on this uh, sl the slippery slippery surface that type of construction if any body is placed on inclined surface the weight definitely acts downwards vertically down but the reaction will act exactly perpendicular to the surface because what i told you reaction is always perpendicular to the surface of contact surface of contact but it is not compulsory that i mean to say if weight is going down reaction will be up till this date till this part video we discussed this only but it is not always true that uh, both reaction and the weight will be in the same line there may be some conditions where weight will be inclined and reaction will be straight when when the body is on inclined plane because when the body is on inclined plane we have to take the x axis along the inclined plane and we have to take the y axis which is perpendicular to the y axis so if you draw the x and y axis in individually then you will form an x you will form an x clear in this x this will be your r this will be your weight w but uh, this four quadrant system this is first and this is second and this is third and this is fourth quadrant but uh, if you feel comfortable when the four quadrant system in this cross symbol so you have to convert this into you have to tilt this x into plus x into plus that is the logic so whenever you find an inclined surface you need to take the x axis along the inclined plane you need to take the y axis along which is perpendicular to the x axis that is the small logic okay so now we'll move into the concept of angle of repose the body can stick to the plane without without uh, slipping angle of repose is the maximum angle or angle of repose is the maximum inclination up to which the body will protect itself from moving protect itself. so the example is if here is a surface my hand is surface and this is an inclined plane and this is the body now the plane is inclined what happened i am just uh, you know, i am uh, increasing 
the inclination i am increase the inclination inclination between the plane and the horizontal surface the plane and the horizontal surface now if i increase my inclination what happens there is some angle is the body is moving which is placed on inclined surface i mean the white body is that moving no is that moving no is that moving no is that moving no is that ah the point where the body starts moving this total angle this total inclination consider as angle of repose that's what i told you angle of repose is nothing but the angle between the inclined surface and the horizontal surface till what point till the body starts sliding till the body starts sliding so this is theta this is theta so now from this we have to prove that phi is equal to theta where phi is the angle of friction and theta is the angle of repose some so we have to prove that angle of repose is equal to angle of friction how it is possible sir it is possible how it is possible means this is the weight vertically acting down if you extend this line there will be right angle triangle formed here and this is your right angle triangle clear from this right angle triangle what you will do is coefficient of friction f is equal to so coefficient of friction f is equal to w sin theta r is equal to w cos theta f is equal to w sin theta r is equal to w cos theta clear so from that we know that mu is equal to f by r substitute mu is equal to f by r w sin theta by w cos theta w w cancel sin theta by cos theta tan theta so mu is equal to tan theta we know that in the previous equation we solved mu is equal to tan alpha if mu is equal to tan tan psi mu is equal to tan theta then automatically from equation 1 and 2 tan theta is equal to tan psi so theta is equal to psi theta is equal to psi that is the logic so whenever there is a chance of asking this question for 7 marks prove that angle of repose is equal to angle of friction prove that angle of repose is equal to angle of friction so we have to go for this equation i hope you understand this no problem if you don't understand this we'll keep on see the, uh, keep uh, see this video again and again if you are still any doubt please contact us will solve your doubts so because we teach is always here for your comfortness we teach is always here to help you to 